So you need an easy way to get the character sent flying somewhere to the ground. Not a problem. Now there's two main tricks you can use. Drag select from the first to the last frame and then double click the pelvis to highlight all the joints and then hit the in between button. From here, if you like what you see, you can select the center of the mass and then click here to unbake the animation. And then just make any tweaks that you need. Now the second method is a little more jank and hilariously unstable. And I'm sure they're fixing it as we speak, but when they do, the process will still be the same. So I'm just going to show you how it works right now. If you have the first frame and you have the end frame and set the space between to Bezier, under physics, if you turn interval on and then ragdoll, you will see the character crumple to the ground. Now the reason it does this is because we have to duplicate the initial frame and move it a small amount so that the ragdoll knows what direction to apply the force. Now you can adjust the strength of the ragdoll like this, but like I said before, it's still pretty jank and the joint limitations are still way too flexible. But the same method applies. If you find a frame that you like, you can either press F to keep it, or you can select the body mass and unbake the entire interval. Just remember, anytime you want to copy what you see from the green physics projection, you can click here to snap to auto physics, and it will basically copy the physics projected animation to your real animation. Uncheck interval and turn ragdoll off when you're done. Now, a lot of the workflow in Cascader actually kind of involves jumping back and forth between the auto physics, unbaking what you like, and then manually tweaking things as you see fit. So don't feel like you have to accept whatever the raw data, the ragdoll, or the in-between gives you. You should really just use it as a guide and then take what you like and make any adjustments as you see fit. Regardless, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around. Oh, <laughs>